In the last step, we glued the engine mount into the body tube, but only that front ring. Now we have to glue along the sides, but we don't want to do it from the outside. We're going to do it from the inside. Um, but this is tricky. Um, you might have some gaps here, um, and that's because of um, how you built your engine mount. Um, if the fins weren't, aren't exactly perpendicular to the tube, if they're a little crooked or if they're canted a little bit because you didn't get your ring um, straight, you're going to have gaps there. And the way that you're going to fill those is from the inside. Um, but the problem is it could leak out, and we want to prevent it from leaking out. Um, so I'm going to use masking tape here. And essentially what I'm going to do is to create a dam on the outside to prevent any glue seeping through from the inside. So I want to take the tape and kind of fold it in half and I want to get that tape into the corner there as, as much as possible. And I want to leave that back centering ring in. Let's see if I can do this so that you can see it. So I'm pushing down on the tube and then using my fingernails kind of pressing into that corner and then, and then flattening it out. So now, if you can just see that, that tube is, er, is right up against the fin, which is what I want. Okay, and I'm going to have to do this for all the fins before I pull that back ring out. So again, the technique is fold the tape in half, lay it along the tube, press down, to get that tube to conform right up against the fin and then flatten it out. So I'm going to pause here and continue doing that and then uh, we'll pull the back ring out. Okay, I finished putting the masking tape on um, and I want to trim off any of the excess that sticks over the edge. Um, it just makes things harder to see inside the rocket. Okay. Now you're probably wondering why there were center, there were holes in the back end, um, and that's so that you can get inside uh, with some kind of pick or uh, or a screwdriver and pull that centering ring back out. Um, so that was the main reason I put it in there. <laughs> it also looks cool. Okay. So now I want to look inside and see if there's any gaps along the edges because that's where I want to put a fillet. Now I would recommend using wood glue to make the fillets but if you have large gaps because your fins aren't uh, aligned properly then you might have to use epoxy. Um, you can use regular epoxy. Um, here at Apogee we also sell what is called rocket epoxy um, and it's a two-part mix 50-50 um, it starts out uh, white and cream, and when you mix them together, it turns into a cream color. Um, but that's not why I would recommend it. Um, I would recommend it because it's really thick. I don't know if you can see it kind of rolling down in there. Um, so once you put it in place, it kind of stays there. And the, oop, and the other reason is um, it also comes with um, a pigment that you can mix into it. And this is a black pigment. And I've mixed some up, and you can see it's nice and black, and it would match the fins and the back of the body tube if I had to use this. Um, essentially, it's going to be the same way as, as using um, wood glue. I'm going to use the wood glue because um, I like to keep my rockets as lightweight as possible, so I always prefer to use wood glue. But if you have to, you know, you can use epoxy. Um, and that's why I got the rubber gloves here, um, just in case I was going to have to use it. But as I'm looking down through here, 
everything is really nice and tight in there. Um, no gaps, so that my tube essentially is, is locked down to the, the fins pretty good. So I'm just going to put some super glue, or wood glue in there and just let it go down along the, the root edge of the fin. Hope you can see this. It's a little always always harder to do it on camera. Yeah, okay. Now it's time to get out the wood dowel and kind of force it down in there. And it would be the same if you were using epoxy. Um, work it down towards the bottom, all the way down the edge. It's, it's hard for me to do it on camera because I can't see very good. So that one I did. And it's going to get messy in there. That's okay. Nobody's going to see the inside of your rocket. Don't want to use too much. And the other reason that we had holes on these things is um, so that the glue can dry inside. <laughs> it allows air to get inside and, and to dry everything out. So now I have some glue oozing out. So I'm going to wipe that off. I don't want it on my nice paint. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Um, and then also at the same time, I'm going to glue on the aft centering ring. So I'll I'm going to pause here and I want to make sure all my fillets are good and then I'll come back and put the aft ring on for you. Okay, so I've got all of my fillets in. Wipe off the glue on the back end of the engine tube. Um, you can also get down, you can see down in there, you can get put a fillet around that front centering ring to hold that into place. Now this back centering ring, um, it's going to be a little harder to put in now. So I'm going to um, bevel the front edge of the ring a little bit to help guide it into the tube a little bit quicker. Okay. All right. My aft ring is ready to go in. I will just do one last final fit check. Okay. That looks fine. And now I'm going to put some glue on the inside edge. Smear it around. And we're also going to need some glue on the uh, centering ring or the engine mount tube. It's probably way too much glue. All right, so now we'll put this on. Okay, now, 
if it's recessed, mine is mine is kind of crooked a little bit. Um, I think I pushed too hard on that side. I can either leave it like it is or try to pull it back out. There we go. All right. I'm going to leave it like it is. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, so now this is going to have to dry. There's a lot of glue in there. Um, so the air is going to have to get in there and dry it all out. So this might take a full day to dry. So I'm going to stop here. Um, and then once it's dry, um, I can pull off the tape. If you're using epoxy, you want to let it dry a good 24 hours anyway to harden. Um, I'm, I don't want to leave it down like this because if any glue is going to get in there, it's going to come out the holes. So I want to lay it horizontal as much as possible while it dries um, so that the glue um, doesn't pool to one end or the other. So I'll be back in the next video.